What up, players? Welcome back to Spooky Toberfest. Today we're doing a Warhammer Fantasy Battles unboxing and review of the new Nurgle Lord. Nurgle Chaos Lord. And this is a new plastic kit that was released with a Saurus Old Blood plastic kit. So, not a wave of new figures for, for the Nurgle or Chaos Army, but just a single Lord model. You can also use this as a champion or exalted champion of your army. But man, look at the way this guy is painted and just the, the mold, how he's holding in his guts with his with his axe haft and how it's spilled over and you can see all the disgusting details of the figure. So I'm really looking forward to painting this guy up. He looks really dynamic and interesting to paint. So <clears throat> took out the sprue. The great thing about this is that it's not fine cast so you don't ever have to worry about about miscasts or air bubbles or any of that stuff. Um, What's there to say? Let's look at the front of the model. Looks like you have to put that mask on, the head part, you can just get the back part of the head. And the mask is right over here on the other side. It's got the three pointed icon of Nurgle. You can see it's repeated a lot on the figure, like down here on the loincloth, the, the three coins down here make the, the symbol of Nurgle. Here's the torso, the front of the torso, the belly. Also, these horns jutting out of his shoulder plate are formed into the tri-pointed triangle of Nurgle. So, really great thinking went into the process of making this. I think this is a, there's a little fly symbol on his gauntlet here for the axe. The axe looks suitably worn and pitted and <clears throat> corroded. It's going to be fun to paint up. And the molded base has some slime over here dripping on the front. So that's pretty cool. Okay, looks like it's a really simple model to put together. Only one, two, three, four pieces to the body, plus the base makes five. So it looks like they're streamlining their process for making these single figures. I'm gonna go away and put this together and we'll show you what the completed looks, uh, completed model looks like when I come back. So here's the model I'll put together and he looks great. I think the lines that they're able to produce with him, like these spikes, being so finely detailed and angled are really awesome. The detail on his skin just is fantastic with the, the top layer of skin rotting and, and peeling off and everything down to his cloven, cloven hoof boots. I think is really great. The little rock with the slime drips on it. <clears throat> and the skull here hanging off of his off of his little chainmail loincloth piece. I was looking at this guy and I was like, who does this guy remind me of with the skull, big fat belly, the helmeted head, the Nurgle symbol on his shoulder plate? Who does he remind me of? Hmm. Ooh. So I brought this guy out. I thought I'd finish him off by putting some basing material on him. So. To me, I think that this is the model that they took their inspiration for. And actually, to be fair, I, this is a Chaos Knight head. It's not the one that came with the figure. I just didn't like the happy, greening, bald, fat guy head that came with the, with the model. Um, and let's see what else. But he's got like the, the Nurgle symbol, uh, the shoulder plate, the, the fly symbol, the skull hanging from the loincloth, the spiky shoulder bits, which are all kind of here, the, the fat belly the big big armored fat belly <coughs> but with this model it definitely looks like they're going for the gross out factor by making him not armored and just making him overly grotesque and decaying and falling apart as he's walking down the field but really excited to have this figure can't wait to paint him up stay tuned for that but in the meantime I'm gonna be doing some unboxing of some Malifaux figures that I bought for the Bayou Goblins or Gremlins I guess they're called so stay tuned for that as well and some more Vampire Counts unboxing and War Boss tutorials on how to paint some skeletons and ghouls. Gonna be making those for some more entries to put into Girl Paintings videos uh, competition coming up. So thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.